And it's a very, very special moment for all of us sitting here, I feel. It's been six years to the release of Kaila Majnu. And when I was outside with everyone, I think this is something that we did long back when our trailer was releasing. I mean, we have the same butterflies in our stomach. <laughs> and it is, we have the same level of nervousness, same level of excitement. And this is, this is just a very special feeling, I would say. And it's been six years since then, but मैं बहुत बार बता चुकी हूँ ये बात साबित करके वो मुझ पे विश्वास नहीं करते थे पहले कि आज तक एक भी दिन ऐसे नहीं गया not even a single day where I haven't received a message on my Instagram or Facebook for Lela Majnu I mean the kind of love that we receive for this film is is amazing yeah it's amazing and जब हमने अनाउंस किया था actually कि कश्मीर में फिल्म वापस रिलीज हो रही है तो मुझे इतने सारे मैसेजेस आए फ्रॉम पीपल कि यार why not in Australia why not in London why not in you know Delhi Bombay and जब मैंने कल पोस्ट डाला कि हम इस रिलीज़ इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया तो एवरीबॉडी इज़ जस्ट एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी एंड आई थिंक दिस इज़ ओनली पॉसिबल बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ देयर लव सो आई वांट थैंक्स द ऑडियंस ऑफ़ फर्स्ट एंड देन थैंक्स माय एंटायर टीम फॉर मेकिंग अ फिल्म � I mean, I still have a few words for you. I uh, I still remember when the film film released. It just has said that uh, a film is for life, and if it is any good, you can keep finding it for me. Uh, when he said that, I did not want to believe it because series films don't make it real. But over the past six years, the amount of love um, and credibility that we have earned from the film. The love that we've received from the audience. Uh, there's this constant feeling that they wanted to go out and scream to the world for those who had seen it. They wanted to really scream to the world and say, "Please watch this film. This is something beautiful, something brilliant." Uh, and they've been screaming this for the longest period. And finally, I think we have Sylvia Rainoff, uh, who actually is listening to you. You know, is listening to the audience. And it's time now that you are heard. So keep your voices up. You know, make sure that you keep raising it because there's there's someone listening to you. Um, but thank you so much for making this happen. Uh, this is an incredible feeling. Uh, like I keep saying, the third day when I when I went with my family to watch this film, the posters were, were being pulled down. Uh, to going to see another release happening, I think it's still running house full there. I see house full uh, house full on major uh, screens here in Bombay. I think it's going to happen all over the country. Uh, all I can say is thanks. I just want to thank everyone here, and uh, it's a great feeling. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much. I just uh, before I throw out a question to you right now, I just want to share this experience. Uh, yesterday, I got a call for this hosting this event, and I mean, it's a coincidence that I was in Kashmir for the last seven days. All right, I went to see another I went to Gulmarg with my family, and the last one is in Shailgam. And yesterday I was just getting boarding on the flight, and I got a call to host this event. So it's such a coincidence that when I honestly I saw the trailer yesterday, I had not seen the movie before, but I saw the movie yesterday, and I thought about I mean Kashmir, and I got this call. So it's such a lovely coincidence that I'm hosting this show today. So just wanted to share that, right? So and uh, so I just uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my pleasure, sir. All right, I just uh, I'm going to. Uh, Without a question to you, that is, what inspired PVR INOC to launch the cult classic IP, and how do you see it impacting the audience movie mo movie going experience? Like, how they like, what do you what do you feel about you know these re releases, and how do you think they are going to be responding? As we got a good response for the Rockstar, and you said this movie is also going to be releasing in 75 cinemas, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, the infrastructure is already built. You know, uh, we have. Uh, 1780 or screens now all over the country and lots of streets that need to be built up. So, uh, so if, if the infrastructure uh, is made to show films and films don't have to be brand new every time, it can be plastics and the whole family, our family is like massive movie buffs, my kids, my wife, my, my brother. So I think it's all driven from love for movies. So it was a very easy decision because we grew up watching movies over and over again, and I said, you know, why are we not showing old films? Because just now, there's no question about the fact that post-COVID, there's been a lot of volatility, uh, unpredictability. Uh, but just said, uh, there's some timeless classics 
you know, which uh, can, you know, people still want to go and watch them. And so we did some festivals to begin with. We did Mr. Bachchan's festival and, and some other festivals and we did Blockstar. And I said, wow, this is quite incredible that uh, the love for, uh, uh, you know, movies, uh, even which are available easily, on, and, and, uh, and the creativity of talented people who are sitting here, that they can still pull the audiences back. So it was no-brainer. And now we've got a full-time guy that's always doing the recruiting somebody and his job is only not to look at new movies <laughs> and look at old classics and bring them back. And uh, 75 screens we're playing this film. But you never know. Sometimes uh, they grow organically. I think 75 screens in the film. I think that the response that I've seen is that the whole screen is going to be a shoot. That the whole screen is going to be a shoot. So one last question to you from my side is that up, uh, how do you how do you like go about you know uh, choosing the film like ye release karni hai ya you know what is what is that thought process behind it when you do a re-release yeah. of these films what is the thought process behind it like how do you actually choose the film I think you you know that the content was good right. and you also sometimes like in just said that this movie had to be I didn't know to be honest with you I hope don't blame me if it was taken off the board but pata hota picture is clear. There are a lot of factors that are due to which a movie does not do well. Sometimes it clashes with another big movie. Sometimes some other incident happens or which, you know, doesn't give it that kind of maybe marketing or could be just something can happen. Or don't go. So I think, you know, my team looks at it. It's a lot of money. And it's got a good platform to get out of it. So it's got to be released. So obviously content is what pulls. That's what creates that, uh, you know, compelling argument in favor of releasing the movie. So, as many movies we are releasing, there are good movies that we like. And it's an easy decision. All right, thank you, sir. Actually, if I want to say something, I would also like to say that if there is a movie before, some classic film is getting released, I think I would also love to go and watch it. And definitely an audience as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this lovely initiative which you have taken. Can I ask, sir, a question for you? What's your thoughts on the special initiative, which is re-releasing of the cult uh, and classic film? What's your thought on that? Sir? The thought is of gratitude, and the thought is also that uh, when we love a film, we don't watch it one time; we watch it several times. And uh, the way um, we love to watch movies is actually on the big screen with. Uh, you know, we work very hard to create uh, Dolby, Atmos, uh, worthy sound. We decide where to put which sound track so that it can be enjoyed by the audience. All of that to be, just the audio to be enjoyed well, you need a theater like this. You need this height and width. And, uh, and we take a lot of pains in making a movie. So watching it on a big screen is a... Is, a, is what any filmmaker would want, I think. Um, so I'm very thankful and very happy that this has finally happened. I felt that there was a genuine need in the market for old movies that we keep talking about. We, whenever we meet, we talk about these films, but we never get to see them in the way we want to see them. So uh, there's gratitude, thankfulness. And also uh, complimenting you, uh, Mr. Bisley, on the smartness of the idea. I see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but now I've realized something. <laughs> so who are the... <laughs> yeah, we went to the same college, but we didn't know each other while in college. Um, so, yeah, but it's gratitude, and uh, it's a very smart idea. And the best thing over here is what Avinash also mentioned, that... It's the voice of the people. We are here to serve people. You know, and all these seats are for you guys. So if you want something, say it. There is social media, there is the work for it. And it will be heard. And you have to rule the market and not the other way around. So as you mentioned, same college was a senior conference. I mean, senior is the same thing. Same thing? Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm calling you Mr. Bisley now. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, dear sir. Sorry, sir. I'm going to ask you a question. Almost similar year, but being a director, 
How do you feel about this entire week and week over and if your movie you put your heart and soul into it, sir? And how, what, what, what is your thought on this entire week and week thing? I feel as though that you cover the bar and make a little scabby load. It's a new lease of life. It is unbelievable. It is yet uh, to sink in into my system. Right. And uh, I think it will take some time. Yeah. And uh, the more unbelievable part about this is uh, the response that we're getting from the people. It uh, uh, came out in Kashmir uh, initially. And uh, it is, you know, I'm told, still doing very good business, uh, running almost household. And then I was thinking that it's okay, Kashmir's story is Kashmir's people will be very good level. But uh, I'm not going to translate to the rest of the country. But uh, I became numb uh, when I came to know that uh, there are people who still are, you know, taking out time and making the effort uh, to come to the theaters and watch it. It is uh, something that, uh, you know, uh, money can't buy. It is something that uh, you don't plan for. It's something that happens, with, so it feels divine. So I really feel touched by divinity. And uh, just want to be in that for a while. Hey, nice to your access and this will keep happening there. Be nice to my access. Well, uh, I haven't stayed nice to you guys, so this is what is happening, you know. Okay, Sriti, I have a question for you. How how's your journey been overall? Till now, from that, there to now, like the entire journey, the film also, if I say, how, how what, like, you know, everything. And how would you even you, uh, feel about this entire re release of the film? Go to film, Chaldi, madam. Go to film, Chaldi, It's been amazing, yeah. I truly feel that, uh, I truly feel blessed, and I'm really, really grateful that people are loving the film and, I don't know, really showing so much love. and. Abhi Nashna bhi bata hai ki I miss Kashmir because Kashmir mein scene hi bhoota lagta hai. Everybody was going crazy over our hero. And mein ek baat aapko batana bhoolne ki recently mein na kuch aur film dekhne I was going to the theater and I I think entered the wrong audio scene mein chale gaye audio scene ki wajah se and wahan pe rock star chal rahi thi and I was like oh shit I missed it at the time because I don't know why, for some reason, I didn't watch it then on the big screen, and this time I just landed up there, and I just missed that film, and I watched for rock. I sat down for rock star with my mom, and I watched rock star. So, and actually, literally, I prayed to God that time that Kashi Lela Majnun ke liye ho paata, and the film happened now. So, I'm truly, truly, you know, grateful to you, sir, and to CVR and to everybody who's made it possible. Wow, amazing. I guess your manifesting powers are amazing, right? Very strong. <laughs> okay. Pass it on. <laughs> I mean, what's your, what's your take on this entire list? You know, she actually uh, said almost every sentiment that I have. Okay. Um, the, the feeling that, you know, uh, you know, it was six years back and she felt that it's time to move on from Lela Majno. So it would keep coming up in conversation. And it would, two points started irritating me uh, that, बस करो हो गए छह साल इस फिल्म को अब तो यू नो एंड सब क्यों नहीं देखने आए थे यू नो दैट वाज माय फीलिंग व्हेन दे वुड सेल अप बट नाउ इट्स टाइम मैन इट यू लाइक नो मैटर व्हाट आई से द पीपल वुड ब्रोट इट बैक देयर लव एंड ऑल आई कैन डू इज ऑन माय हैंड टू गो टू देम Amazing, and I feel that this entire initiative will it it will give a second chance to all of these things which can be showcased, and it will will do much more better, right? So yeah, I really hope it it inspires everyone to believe that it that Sir has said once, just focus on the good content. Amazing. We get uh, like a you know over the years time last six years that I've been part in this. There are so many things that you hear in your ears. We should do this. We should do that. We should do this. We should do that. We should do this. We should do that. And this has almost given rest to all those conversations. Super, super. I feel vindicated. I'm sure people who love the film feel vindicated. And yes, this is for us to take it on from here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. And now I'm going to open this for the media. Kash, yar, isme maine liye badal ke ho. Kash ko aise banaya ho ta. Yar, Kash isme. ये चीज भी डाली होती है मैंने इम्तियाज और साजिद आप दोनों को कुछ ऐसा लगता है अपने फिल्म लैला बंद के बारे में साजिद सर बोलेंगे एक्टर्स को यार होने चाहिए एक्चुअली मैंने क्योंकि ये फिल्म डायरेक्ट नहीं की है 
मुझे मेरा कोई हक नहीं बनता बोलने का कि मुझे क्या खराब लगता है और मैं इतना स्टूपेट भी नहीं हूँ कि अभी आपके सामने सब कुछ पोल खोल दू <laughs> बट ये बात आपने बिल्कुल सही कही कोई भी फिल्म जैसे रॉक स्टार है मैं रॉक स्टार के बारे में बोलता हूँ उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें मुझे लगी कि मैंने तीन चार बार देखी जब री रिलीज हुई फिल्म पहली बार यहाँ देखा था फिर और भी थिएटर में जा जा करके मैंने देखा बहुत सारी चीजें अच्छी भी लगी क्योंकि आप क्रिटिसाइज भी हमेशा करते हो ना अपनी फिल्मों को आई थिंक कोई भी करता है बहुत सारी चीजें आपको गलत लगती हैं बट 12 साल के बाद 14 साल के बाद फिर वही चीजें कुछ और लगने लगती हैं फिर आपको समझ में आता है कि ऑडियंस को क्या चीज अच्छी लगी होगी तो इट्स अ वेरी बिग लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस एक्चुअली फॉर अ फिल्म मेकर टू वॉच दिस फिल्म आफ्टर द वाइल्ड ना ओवर टू साजिद सर आप ये सवाल अगर मुझसे एक हफ्ते पहले पूछे होते तो मैं बहुत आपको एक लंबी चौड़ी लिस्ट बताता बट आज मेरे को मुझे कुछ बुरा नहीं लगता इस फिल्म में ये सब अच्छा लग रहा है और कोई प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है कृष्ण और अविनाश बीइंग न्यू कमर्स हम जब एक्टिंग करते हैं किसी फिल्म में तो बहुत नर्वसनेस होती है हम अपने अपने क्राफ्ट को लेकर बहुत श्योर नहीं होते नाउ इट्स बीन लाइक सिक्स इयर्स आप लोग सीजन एक्टर्स हैं तमाम फिल्मों में काम कर चुके हैं रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव में आप लोगों को क्या लगता है इस फिल्म में एक्टिंग को लेकर और क्या कुछ अलग कर सकते थे आप लोग तो अभी आप बैठते ही ना मुझे सबसे ने कहा हाथ आज भी काप रहे हैं ना कुछ नहीं बदला सर छह साल पहले जितने हम गवार थे आज भी उतने ही ये बस आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट ग्रेट फॉर्चून डेट हमें काम मिल रहा है और होपफुली अगले दस साल में कुछ ना कुछ सीख जाए ये मेरी उम्मीद है अपने आप से मुझे तो उस टाइम पे भी एक्टिंग अविनाश और साजिद सर ने मिलकर बैठा बैठा के सिखाई थी क्योंकि मुझे अच्छे से याद है जब मैंने फिल्म ज्वाइन की थी तो बिल्कुल मुझे कुछ भी नहीं आता था सीरियसली और काफी ऑडिशन हुए मेरे और मुझे आज भी याद है ये दोनों ना बैठ के फिल्मी बातें करते थे दे वो टॉक अबाउट कैरेक्टर एनालिसिस एंड दिस एंड दैट और मेरे सब ऊपर से लगा और मुझे लगता था कि मैं सही कर रही हूँ अपनी लाइफ में मतलब मैं कहीं गलत जगह तो नहीं आ गई बट जो भी मैंने सीखा है शूट करते करते सीखा है और साजिद सर और अविनाश से सीखा अविनाश ने बल्कि मुझे रिकमेंड किया था कि मैं एक्टिंग क्लास ज्वाइन करूँ आफ्टर यू नो फिनिशिंग द फर्स्ट कैर ऑफ द फिल्म और जाए खुद जाता था इसने उसी स्कूल में मुझे भेज रहा एंड आई एम ग्लैड ही डिड दैट बट या इट्स इट वॉज इट वॉज अ ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस और आज भी सीख ही रहे हैं हर फिल्म के साथ आई थिंक आप कुछ ना कुछ नया सीखते हो कभी भी ऐसा नहीं होता कि आपको सब कुछ आता हो और जिस दिन ऐसा लगे समझ जाओ आपको कुछ नहीं आता बस जाते जाते एक छोटा सा सवाल और इम्तियाज अली ने इतनी बेहतरीन फिल्में बनाई है अपने करियर में पिछले बीस सालों में अगर सिद्धी और अविनाश आपसे पूछू की इम्तियाज अली की किसी एक फिल्म में अगर आप इमेजिन कर पाए कि आप हीरो बन पाते काश और कृष्टी आप इमेजिन कर पाते कि उनकी किस फिल्म क्या हीरोइन होती जो कौन सी होगी सर ऐसे तो सारी फिल्मों में हमको लगता है कि मुझे हीरोइन होना चाहिए था मैं आ, पर अगर फिर भी मुझे एक पिक कर एक नहीं मैं दो पिक करूंगी एक सोचाना था और एक जब भी मैं राइट सर ये सब आप गड़े हुए दर्द जो है बाहर निकाल रहे हैं तो मुझे याद है जब मैंने रॉकस्टार का ट्रेलर देखा था मुझे ईर्ष्या हो गई थी रणबीर कपूर से कि हाउ कुड दिस मैन डू दिस एंड आई एम नॉट देर मुझे वो थैंकफुली लैला मुजनू करने का मौका मिल गया वरना वो ईर्ष्या में जलते ही रहता तो आई सी आप नेम वन रॉकस्टार वो डेफिनेटली देर बिकॉज इट वॉज स्टेट ऑन आई सॉ इट एंड चिल्ला चिल्ला कर रो रहा था सर वो ट्रेलर देखने के बाद ओके थैंक यू इफ यू टू नेम वन यू शुड से हिज नेक्स्ट ओके मैं यहाँ पे एक जस्ट वन टेक वन मिनट पॉज बिफोर द मीडिया हैज अदर क्वेश्चन हम लोग एक जो भी पौधा आप हमारी इंडस्ट्री में लेकर आते हैं और आगे चल कर वो बहुत बड़ा वृक्ष बन जाता है एंड डे बाय डे उनकी शाखाएं बढ़ती चली जाती है चाहे मैं रॉक स्टार से रणबीर कपूर की बात करूँ हाईवे से आया बट नाव अब तृप्ति बिंदरी जिस तरह से ये हमारी हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री को चला रहे हैं और लाइक हिट पे हिट फिल्म दे रहे हैं तो कैसे देखते हैं आप और क्या क्राइटेरिया होती है आप जब मुझे याद है छह साल पहले जब तृप्ति बिंदरी स्टेज पे ट्रेलर लॉन्च हुआ था तो डेरी 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 सी फैमिली फैमिली थी एंड नाउ आज हमारी हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री की सुपर है 
हमारा काम बहुत सिंपल है यार अगर देखा जाए तो जो काम करने के लिए मैं जमशेदपुर से आया था वो सिर्फ सपना देखना होता है हमारा काम है सपने देख जब हम अपना काम करते हैं कास्टिंग हो या लिखना हो हम वही करते हैं जो हमारे दिल में आता है और आई थिंक वो जो दिल की बात होती है वही आगे पहुंचती है उसके बीच कोई स्ट्रेटजी नहीं लगाता मैं कि इस ऐसा करेंगे तो ये वेट इस तरह से फैलेगा या ये एक्टर कल को बहुत बड़ा स्टार बन जाएगा हम वही एक्टर्स चुनते हैं जो हमारे लिए सूटेबल होते हैं प्रतिभाशाली होते हैं और जिनका एक सच्चा प्यार होता है एक्टिंग से और फिल्म मेकिंग से उन्हीं लोगों को चूज करने की कोशिश करते हैं काम बड़ा सिंपल है इसमें जब बहुत ज्यादा कैलकुलेशन लग जाती है ना तो ऐसा लगता है कि बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है मगर फाइनली हम रियलाइज करते हैं कि उससे कुछ होता नहीं है अपना काम सीधे सच्चे तरीके से करते जाना एक सिंपल और अच्छा अप्रोच होता है मेरे ख्याल से जी अब आप मानती है एक्टिंग कर रहे हैं अब आपको आ गया है लाइक अब ढेर सारी हिट फिल्में देंगे ये सवाल मेरे डायरेक्टर से पूछना है
Hi, it's Kamila here from the Zoom channel. My question is to Tripti and Avinash. When you look back at your career, you know, starting with Leila Mosley together and, you know, Animal and Bombay Medi Chan, both being, you know, pivotal right now, you know, for your career, me for that matter. So when you look back at Leila Mosley, what is the one memory you always cherish and you felt like, okay, you know, being a part of this one was the best decision of your life? difficult to pick one. I think the, the whole experience, it's difficult to put it in words. It's something that has taught us so much. It's a film that when I just said, I didn't know acting. I didn't know this world. This world never existed for me. And whatever I've learned as an actor, whether it's set mannerisms or acting, I've learned from this particular film. And uh, I thought that just like, what acting is doing? You're going there. You're acting. That's about it. You didn't know the hardships that come with it. कि आपको बारा 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 तो कम हो गई है ना बारा on a very good day long long hours you have to work without sleep sometimes without food if a shot is going on you can't just you know take a break in between and go eat your food and it's not just you doing it it's your entire team your director your you know actors co actors the entire team you know people who work off camera so it's a you know very difficult job, uh, not acting but everything else, everybody else who works to make a film what it is. So I think पहले बहुत ही different perspective था films को लेके and ये film करके वो सब change हुआ. Thank you. Sorry, I my apologies, but I have a flight to catch and I need to go. Uh, I can stop shows but not airline. <laughs> thank you once again for thank you. being here and thanks guys. Thank you Ajay. Thanks. Thank you very much for your presence. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you.